everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is the final part of everything I've ever coloured 2019. So I'm going to start with my PDFs to show you. Just to warn you, um, I am icing my knee so you may hear the bag rustling around a little bit because um, obviously I've got to move it and it's um, a, like a bag of actual ice so it's not as easy to move like the bag of peas. Um, so just so you know, my leg is fine and all that. Um, I'm able to get around a bit easier just using one crutch but I gotta ice my knee like for 20 minutes and then leave it for an hour and then ice it again so it's time for me to ice it again so I kind of had to do that so I am so without further ado well you shall get ahead so these are my pdfs in here so um I'm too lazy to take them out but oh are they if I hold it like this, you, then you don't see the glare of the plastic. So this is uh, The Little Mermaid by Fabiana Atanasio. This was um, a PDF that you could get on her Etsy that you could buy. She hasn't actually got a Little Mermaid book, unfortunately, but she's got quite a few pictures of The Little Mermaid that you can get um, either separately or as like a big file, I think. So there are some stickles on there which may show up, but obviously I've got the plastic coating on there. Um, then I have also done, actually you know what, just because it's going to annoy me, I will, I will take them out <laughs> just to show you and then I'll put them back in. So here's the um, Little Mermaid one with the stickles on and then the other one, this is on toned tan paper as well, the other one I have also on toned tan paper is Sleeping Beauty which also has some stickles on it, um, on the curtains and then also on the gold thread. Um, again I used, did that on toned tan paper, both of them I used Prismacolor pencils. Um, yeah and they're both um, as I said from Fabiana Atanasio's Etsy store. That's where I got those. Um, the next one which you can see already is Rita Berman. She um, did a free um, Christmas picture that you could get that you could download for free now whether you can still download it for free I have no idea this is done on the Strathmore so that was the tone tan paper was Strathmore tone tan paper this is Strathmore coloured pencil paper so uh, that I've printed this on um, and I used my Koinor pencils and they actually worked really nice on this paper I think they work better on toothy paper they the colours were more vibrant and um, they just worked really well and I really liked how they worked on this paper. I think I used po polychromos as well on it and then of course I have put some stickles and there's a bit of like metallic pearlescent e paint on it. Um, so yeah that's one by Rita Berman and then the other one I have done is this one which is Artemis and I use polychromous pencils on this because it's toothier paper um, polychromos work quite nicely on this and um, you'll get quite a lot of white spacing if you use the Prisma colours on it but you can still use them and this is by Fabrica Fantasy and this is from Goddesses of Myth so I wrote that on the back because this is um this was a PDF book I got on her Etsy store so it has lots of pictures now um I had to, didn't realize I needed to resize it to get it up to fit the picture or the paper a little bit bigger I couldn't have got it much bigger anyway because her arm would have ended up and head would have been ended up being off the page but um I didn't realize I could have resized it to make it a bit you know bigger so um that's the only one I've done from her book though um and I did this after I came back from um Greece because I was in a very Greek god mode <laughs> And then the one that you can see there, which I won't take out of the wallet, is um, one I found on Pinterest. So unfortunately, I don't know who the artist is. Um, it may be that someone has just obviously copied and pasted pictures from somewhere on there. So apologies to the poor artist. I hope they didn't get their picture, you know, stolen and published for people to colour in. Because that's happened to some people, I think. But I've just this is on normal printer paper. I used Prismacolor pencils, and yeah, that was quite a fun one to do. It's kind of like an art deco one, and that's all of the PDF ones I've done. Not very many because I've got one at the moment. I'm doing one for coloring with Olivia. Um, she sent me one to do, which I am doing. I just haven't finished it yet. So then I'll have another one in here. But yeah, I don't often do a lot of the PDF ones. The Fabiana ones really 
was the only ones I start, started to kind of do just because I love Fabiana and she wasn't making any more of her books so that's why I have those ones but it's quite cool to try it out on tone tan paper so next I'm going to show you all my other books so that'll be Joanna Basford, I have a Carlson, the Maria Trona ones, uh, Clara McCover, Emily Lydhol Oberg ones. Now with the Joanna Basford ones, Secret Garden, I have got another copy with old pictures in which I'm not showing you because it's an, another place because I never use the book but if you go on my channel you will find I have done um, a video on my colouring journey and those pictures are there those are my first pictures you can see but because I, I don't really count them as part of my book collection anymore because I never use that book because of paper it was awful and I will not colour in that book again so this is the better copy of Secret Garden that I have I've only done two pictures in this so one of them being this one which was uh, you had to draw some flowers and I've got hanging baskets and stuff I use Holbein colour pencils for the background, I think I use ink tents, I probably use Prismacolor, I use watercolour paint to do these like little thingies hanging off the thing. Um, so that was what I used for that one. Don't love it, don't hate it either though. Um, and then the only other one I have done, which I do wish I could do again, now I think about it, because it didn't come out amazing, was the peacock. Um, I just don't like the background and how I... I like the blue of the peacock. I do think the feathers could have been a bit more defined, but um, I, either way, it's not bad, but I think I would, you know, I could make it better. But I do find it hard colouring her books with the really small details, like the really small flowers and leaves. I'm not a massive fan, so a lot of these with the smaller details, I'm not really keen on doing so much. Or maybe I'll come back and do it with a gel pen, because I'm just not all about doing tiny, tiny details. Right, the next one I have got is Enchanted Forest. Now, I have completed this book, so the whole book is finished. I have done a whole flip through of everything I've done and talked about how I've done it. I am just going to quickly, for you, flick through the book. I'm not going to talk about the pages. I'm not going to talk about how I did them purely because we'll be here forever. So apologies. If you want to know how I did things or want to know a bit more about the pages, go to that video complete it it's in um if you go to my playlist you should be able to find it okay so we're just going to do a flip i may occasionally tilt it so you can see the you know like here we got metallic paint and then there's some stickles ah i don't fall off my leg <laughs> um so i'm just gonna flick it double page result obviously actually i'll leave it like this because then you can see two at the same time so you can, and you'll be able to sort of see how my colouring has changed through some of these pictures. Um, actually, as I'm flipping it, I can probably tell you um, that quite a lot of them I have used ink tents in. Some I have used watercolour paint, some I've used a little bit of near colour. Mostly the pencils I would have used would be Prismacolor in these. Some I would have used Polychromos for. I would have used some pastel like here. I've got pastel in the background. Um, I would have used, I'm trying to think, what else would I have used? Acrylic paint, I think I said that. This is one that's got a load of stickles on the acorns. So I will show you that because I love the glitter. Um, I drew some things in for some, like these ones here. I drew the backgrounds in. Um, yeah, near colour too, I've said that. Um, so lots of, basically every single colour pencil I've owned apart from any more recent ones I have used in this book. And as I said I've used watercolour paint and things as well. So Ooh. there are some pictures I really like in this one, some I'm not a massive fan of. Some I wouldn't choose to colour if I'd had the choice, but I really wanted to just have one book finished. So um that is why they are all coloured in, but I probably would have not coloured some of them in um, if I had decided not to try and do all of it. Some of the bigger double page spreads with the million leaves, like this one, I had to use ink tents because I would have been there forever. But that was fine, I quite liked how the ink tents came out. This is one I wouldn't have bothered colouring in. <laughs> 
Um, I do like this one. That one's quite nice. That was um, a tutorial followed by Peter Hewitt, just so that you are aware. This is one of my favourite pictures I did. Um, that again would be one I wouldn't have bothered doing, but did. That was mostly done with ink tents. Again, probably one I wouldn't have bothered doing. Ooh, I can't unflip the page. There we go. Um, turn that into a Gryffindor thing. Um, and that is all of it. I have a feeling, I feel like I missed a page because I feel like there was one where I had to change. I feel like there was a skull in this one and I don't think I've shown it to you. So apologies, I'm just going to have a quick look because I think I feel like I missed a page somewhere in the book. <laughs> oh, I did. This, oh, sorry, I missed this one out. I thought I had because um, I knew I'd... This is all fl a floral skull which I painted over because I didn't want to do leaves because by the time I finished this book, I didn't want to look at another leaf again. <laughs> anyway, that's a quick flip through of that one. Next, Lost Ocean, also by Joanna Basford. So I've done a few in this one, a few kind of recently. This is the only book I haven't done this book belongs to. Uh, yeah, I believe I've done them in all the other ones, just not this one, so maybe I'll come back and do that one. So this one I've sort of given up on. <laughs> this is one with, that was a whip that I... Uh, started years ago and finally decided I'd come back and finish. I used Albert Dura watercolour pencils for this. Um, I'm kind of glad I came back and finished it because I feel like my skills in using them was a lot better and I was able to, you know, instead of just using one colour for the fish here, I have used a few different colours and kind of made them, like the crabs, I quite like how the crabs come out, there's a few stickles for their eyes. Um, this book unfortunately has a lot of tiny details which is why I haven't done too many so this was a tutorial followed again by Peter Hewitt but just changed the colours of the border and maybe some of the jellyfish I think um, some of the jellyfish I did the same as her some I didn't um, I've got this page with lots of jellyfish in um, used pastel for the background to make waves and then watercolour paint for the seaweed this is Prisma colour pencil and stickles on the jellyfish Um, I really want to come and do this one, so I'm thinking I might do that one at some point. Do I have any others? I feel like... Nope. Um, so I have done this one, which was for a competition that Joanna Bassett was running. Um, I don't think I would choose to do it bright neon colours again. I just did that to stand out from what other people were doing. Um, it was still kind of fun, but it's not something I would do. This is a wallpaper page I did with the fish, ink tents, and Prisma colour pencil for that one. And then, nope. This was a quick one I wanted to do just because I wanted to try a technique out with my gelatos, which I had seen another YouTuber do, a French one. Um, so basically what they had done is they had, I think, maybe used Neo Colour 2, possibly, and then they went over the top with the gelatos. Um, and that is what I did for that one. So this is just a very simple, like, you know, thing. I just didn't really care about this ribbon. I was just trying stuff out in the background. And it looked, and it worked really nice, actually. Um, so that is something I would like to do again. But I can only really do it on big backgrounds like this because gelatos are like like a chapstick then they haven't got a point to them so fine details you're not going to get around so that's why big backgrounds like this is fine um this is one where i drew dory in i used passive for background i used the lyra membrane pencils for the fish i don't really use those pencils much they are nice but i just prefer my other ones a lot more to it um that i think is everything i have done in that book and I'm just going to quickly flip through it just to double check because I feel like sometimes I miss stuff. But I think that is everything I've done in that one. Uh, yeah, that's everything I've done in that one. Next one we have got the Magical Jungle. Ah, oh, this is really hard to keep the ice on my knee. <laughs> Magical Jungle, also by Joanna Basford. Um, I have done a picture recently in this one. So I've done, I've even done this page. 
um, as well as the this book belongs to and I drew my own like name in there with the leaves so this is the first one um, Prisma colour pencils for that one um, and this one this had a horrible garish background before I finally decided to go back and paint over it so now it has a nice background and you can actually see the beautiful thing here now I probably would have just done a little hazy background with watercolour paint or watercolour pencils like I have done in some of the Enchanted Forest ones but this was before I kind of knew that that would be a good idea I tried something else I used watercolour pencils to kind of do like a blue pink purple background it looked horrible really horrible and unfortunately you could it you this kind of got lost and it just you couldn't really see the niceness of this so I finally got a green paint and just thought you know I'm gonna paint over it so it looks so much nicer now um, background isn't obviously anything amazing but I love that I can see my actual work there um, there is one other picture which I still haven't changed the background which I will do at some point I just had done that one and I didn't want to waste a load of time painting something else because you know I wasn't able to colour a book in a page in instead because I was doing that and that took a couple of layers of paint as well so this is the other one that I need to change background and I think I'll just do a simple black one which probably wouldn't take me too long if I did so hopefully the next time you see this it will actually have a black background instead of a watercolour mess um, which is kind of a little bit like what the other one now this one doesn't look as bad but the other one looked really bad so um, black will make this stand out and look nicer so um, yes <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing that um, and I think I've just got one more picture in here which was the most recent one that I did which I am trying to find for you now do, 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 do. maybe it's a bit further back no it's not, bear with me I'm going to have to flick it off camera, there we go, found it found it, was this one so I used um, some polychromous pencils I think a maybe a few Prisma no, I think I just used polychromos pencils for this one actually. And then I used a um, Cavendash Super Colour just to sort of do the hazy thing. This is what I would have done on that other page. I would have done this and it would have looked nicer. So that was one I didn't do too long ago because I finally decided to come back. Right, next I have Joanna's Christmas. Haven't done anything more in this one. Probably we will do some at Christmas time though um, because I don't think I did any last year from her book for Christmas. So. Um, there's the title page, there are, I tend to use a lot of stickles and gel pen and paint and all sorts. This was um, one of the first ones I did in here of my reindeer. Um, I do wish I could have blended the background a bit better but otherwise I do like how it came out. I've got my gingerbread house with like stickles, quite a few actually. I only had a couple of colours at the time uh, when I did this one. And I used my Holbein pencils and Prismacolor. That's Holbein pastels, by the way, just the pastel set and then some Prismacolors. I did that, um, started at home and then finished it, I think, at my friend's house in Wales when we went away for her birthday. Here's my little Nutcracker Men, which I do think I could do better if I was to do them again now. And I didn't have a clue as to what enough to do for a background, so they're just white. Um... So, do, 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 do. I have also got this bunny one, which I started following Joanna Basford's tutorial that she did on it, and then I sort of went on and did my own thing. So there's some uh, metallic paint on there, and there's some stickles as well. And I think I may have used ink tents for the background on that one. Okay, and then... I think that one might be the last one, which is this Christmas bauble. And I have some stickles, and I have got a little bit of glitter um, paint on it. Now, this is why I was saying to you, if you're using stickles, you best use it single-sided if you're using anything like watercolour. Or I used um, super tip markers to mark the, um, do the leaves, because you will get this. So make sure it's on a single-sided piece of paper because that will happen if you put them on top of watercolour or a water-based marker. Just a tip, 
I mean, as it was, it was fine because I said this is single-sided, so it didn't matter. Right, that's all those ones. Next, I've got Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Again, I recently finished one in this one, which was a whip, an old whip. So um, I have done this opening page here. So this was the page I've done recently, which was a whip, which I had done these leaves with Jane Davenport watercolour paint, and I'd use her mermaid markers just to do these two circles, but they looked awful because I didn't realise they dried quite quickly because I'd never used them before. Fi I managed to fix it with putting colour pencil over the top and being able to sort of match and blend the line, the awful sort of like, you know, watermark line. And now it looks so much better. And then I just use the same colours to do these two and then the background. And um, yeah, for some of, the problem is for some of this frame stuff, I did not know what to do. So I have just used some uh, metallic fine tech paint to kind of just do a frame. Um, I like how I did ivy and the, her flowers and these flowers here and then I used Neo Colour 2, just scribbled it out on a paint palette and then lifted it off with my brush to do like a really light sort of background. So it looks kind of like it's pastels but it's not, it's Neo Colour 2. Um, and I like how that came out. So that was nice to finish that one. Uh, this one is one of the first ones I think I did in this book, which I used luminance pencils, maybe a few prism pencils, um, fine tech paint, and then some uh, pastel dust, fairy dust sort of thing there. Then I have started this one, which again you will have seen before, but I have still not finished it. Um, one day I will. Then I have got this one done which I did last October, I believe. Um, and I used watercolour paint for the background and Prismacolour pencils for everything else. And I really like how that one came out. And then... Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to knock the camera then. Then I have got this one, which I'm not super... Like, I'm not unhappy with it, but I, I don't know. I just feel like it's missing something and that... I'd like to do it again and try and do it kind of how I kind of imagine how to do it but either way it's not bad um so I've used acrylic paint on this side near color shield this side just because of the text um and then maybe I could have just draw a box around the text and used acrylic but I wanted to have this like I wanted to put like um pearlescent paint over the top and I couldn't really do that with the acrylic so that is why that I've got a glowing firefly there um, but yeah, that's not bad. A Prismacolor, I believe, is what I used on that one. Um, I think that might be everything I've done in this book. Not a lot, actually, in that book, but yeah. Last year on a Bassa book, World of Flowers. Um, and I have done a few pictures in this one. Um, I do wasn't 100% sure if I was going to get this one at first, but I did. I don't think this is, I think, don't think I've done the nameplate page on this one either, actually. No, so there we go, there's two books I haven't done the nameplate page. I think it's just because I wanted to get uh, on and actually colour in something. Okay, so I have done this lovely fish, and I enjoy doing this one. I used Faber um, Castell Polychromos for that one, and then I used some um, Arteza gouache and the um, pearlescent paint for the little frame thing there because I got that around the time I did this. I used um, white gouache to go over the leaves and the flowers so that I was able to colour over them and it kind of worked actually so that was quite fun and then I have got this one which I have done a tutorial on or colour along on. I used watercolour paint and Prismacolour for that one and I do like how that came out. Love the colours. Not massive fun maybe this bit but I, it was really hard to try and get it to come out how I wanted it, but it's still not bad. And then the last picture I've got on this one is this one, and I used Isabel from Passionista Colorista's technique of being able to put your own text on, which was really cool. I would have done um, a pastel background, but the pen I used I don't think is waterproof, so what I should have done is done the pastel first, but I think I was I had already started colouring it in, that's why I couldn't do it. But I used Prisma colour pencils, I think, for that, and I really like um, the colours and stuff I chose for those so yeah I do think it would look nicer if I'd had a pastel background but it well and that is all I have done in that one next we're on to Emily Liderhall Oberg I've done I think three in this one three 
pictures and now I need to find what they are. And I love the paper in this book. The paper in this book is amazing because you can use quite a lot of different mediums on it and they just all come out nice. So I have got this book with a castle-y thing coming out. Um, sort of use more muted colours, a little bit like what um, Always Colouring. She used quite a lot of muted colours, so I've done muted colours on this one. Just a little bit of uh, watercolour pencil just to sort of do a hazy sort of background there. Um, and then this one, which I really loved doing. I loved the little stopwatch I've got there, which looks really cool. Um, so I think I used Luminance and Pablo pencils with Albert Dura for the background. So that was quite cool. And then some stickles, because <laughs> I had to. Um, and then I've done this little one, the snow globe with the rabbit, because I think I did this one last year as a fall picture, or autumn picture. So um, it w I didn't do a background because I wasn't really sure what to do. To be fair though, I could have had, I could add, add some grass in. The grass would look quite nice actually, and maybe a sky, but oh well. Haven't done it for that one, and that's everything I've done in that picture. Next I have Saga or Sakna. Also by Emily Leidhold Oberg, and I've only done two in this one. One being the title page, um, which has got some pearlescent paint in. I think I used polychromos for this one. Now the paper in this book is not as nice as the other one. It's a bit smoother, so I do prefer the other one. And I think the only other one I've done is this one. Oh no, I have done three, sorry. I've done three in this one. I have done the Snow Queen. <laughs> I, I believe she's the Snow Queen. So I try to make her hair like Elsa's colour. I try to use acrylic paint washed down to kind of go over high the lines. It didn't work very well though, but oh well. Um, so yeah, there's that one. And then I have done one more in this one, which would be the first proper picture that I did. Um, and here it is. It is the um, Ogre King. I used Near Colour 2 for the background, Prisma Colour Pencils, and I used Helen Elliston's tutorial on how to do the crystals, and I love how they came out. They look amazing. Um, so that was quite cool. So there's that one. Next one to Clara Makova. I do not have a first book, so we're going from this one, Tenderful Enchantments. Um, hate the, this absolutely just hate this it I hate this paper in this book it's smooth it doesn't take a lot of pencils I find all my pencils just look really dull in it like it dulls the, them down some people are quite good and able to get them a bit like darker I don't know how they've done that but um yeah I just don't even really want to talk about this page because it just looks nasty um however there are other pages that are quite nice this was the first page i did i think i used polychromos in the, for this but maybe a bit of prisma um so i did the cupcake and i added some stickles because these are single-sided so i thought i could um yeah see i'm not like the colors aren't bad but it's just i feel like they would be more vibrant on other paper but there's some of them do come out quite vibrant just not all the time I did that on the 28th of March 2018. Oh yeah, this is the book that my cat slightly threw up on. That's why the paper's a bit pilling there, because she, she threw up luckily just on the edge of the book. <sighs> so I was really lucky. She could have thrown up on the whole page. So um, I used Prismacolors for this with, I think, ink tents maybe for the background. So um, I like the colour palette I chose for this one, and she does have stickles. So yeah, that was quite cool. I liked that. Um, and I did that one on 10th of November 2018. This is another one I did because, and I, I do feel like Prisma colour pencils actually do work the best on this paper. They do come out a bit more vibrant. I just felt like the other pencils I used did not. So this is again watercolour background with some stickles, obviously on... The thing and I did that on the 12th of November. Oh, I did that in the space of two days. I obviously felt like I wanted to do that one. Um, so you can see this is where my cat threw up on the book, but at least it's on the edges. So this one I started, I haven't finished though. I just did an ink tents grassy background. Um, because I was thinking I think the ink tents as well that works quite nice in this book. Um as well and oh maybe that's all I've done in this one I felt I thought that I'd done another one but I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking of the other book so that's what I've done in that one next I've got fairy miracles and I haven't done a lot in this one either or oh, I still have all the stuff that came with in the front um 
not done a title page on that one. Um, just wondering if there's any there. I know there's one here. Well, this one's a bit garish because I decided to use my gouache paint, but the pink came out very bright. The orange came out very bright. So it's a very garish looking cat. So we can skip that a bit because it doesn't look amazing. Um, I did that on the 26th of March of this year. Wow, it's it weird to think I did it this year. Um, this mm, was a buddy colour with KP. I think this is for Christmas in July, I think. So I have got stickles on it, and I use my Prismacolor pencils. I love my fruit cake. My fruit lit cake's cool. I used um, Neo Color 2 just to do this background there. I did that on the 18th of July of this year. And then I did this one. I think this was the first one I may have done in this book. And that was obviously a Christmas one, because I got this around Christmas last year, and I used, used my Koei Noir pencils on this. I really like how my gingerbread came out, so I do find that... The Koei Nors, for some of it, they weren't as vibrant as I would have liked to have seen. So on that pa pencil paper, they came out more vibrant. As I'm saying, this is what I think that's the problem with this paper. is They dull the colours down a little bit. Not massively, but a little bit. Like I feel like the apple could have been a bit more vibrant in colour. Um, but I do like how the Koei Nors worked, actually. And I love how my gingerbread house came out with them. The gold I did, the biscuits, so um, even the apple. I, I really do like how I use them, so they look quite nice. And the snow, like, I, it was a bit more difficult to do the snow because they didn't have the colours I would have used in the prism set, but the colours I did have actually weren't that bad, so I do feel like I could do, like, a good snow job. Um, and that is all I have done in this. I did that on the 13th of December, 2018. So maybe I had this book before then. Did I say I did some? Yeah, I think maybe I did have it before then, before Christmas. Oh well. Next, fairy celebrations, which are lucky for you guys. If I'd been able to do this video at the beginning of September instead of the end, you wouldn't have seen this book. <laughs> so this one I got like a week or so ago, and I've done a picture in it recently. And I have done a Halloween one. The paper in this book is much better than the other papers. It's got slightly more tooth. It's not as smooth feeling as the others. So I want to try other pencils on this and see what they're like. So I used a bit of Ink Tense just to help me with the background and a bit of Neo Color 2 just to help me with the background. But everything else is Prismacolor. And I was trying to make it, because of the moon, it's just got the moonlight. So I was trying to make it dark because like it would be. So I've got like the moonlight kind of shining a little bit. It's, I'm still playing around with lighting but I still like how it came out. I love my pumpkins. I like how my mushrooms, I managed to get them to kind of look bright and glowy which is what I was going for. I was a bit worried. I wasn't sure if they would fit with the page. page would they look a bit garish? But no, they came out fine. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed doing this one. And this one was completed on the 24th of September <laughs> which was earlier this week. Okay, next we on to Maria Trolle. Oh my word, I've just realised I'm half an hour in. <sighs> right, I think I can put my ice off my knee now. Um, so this is Twilight Garden. I have done a few by Maria Trolle, just in case you um, didn't see that. So I've done this page. Um, used Averick Durs for that one and some stickles. So I may sort of go a bit quicker through this. Um, this I use an always colouring technique to do the background. Tried to kind of do rainbow colours, but I don't really love how this one came out, so that one's a bit pants. Um, um, I have done this one with the uh, Dia, and I think I used maybe polychromos pencils for that. And I've got a bit of a glow around it, so there's that one. I have done this one, which is Neo Colour Cheap Background and Albert Durer's. Again, for that one with maybe a little bit of Prismacolor for the purple flowers, I think. Yeah, I don't think I did it all with um, watercolour pencil. I did this one of the vegetables because I just had to do some food and there are obviously food and stuff in there so I enjoyed that. Um, I think I used my um, Lunas pencils for this one and I was um, trying to come up with different ways of doing green leaves so they weren't all the same. <laughs> some of them are a little bit on the bright side but oh well. Uh, have I done anything else? Nope, that's everything in that one. Then I have Dream Reese. Um, I've only done two in this one with um, one started but not finished, which would be this one. I've started it but not finished it. Um, so
so I have done this one, which was one I think I did this year, which I used um, my Albert Durer's for. And I've got some glitter gel pen, gel pen, stickles even, on the butterflies. And then the other one I have done is this one, which I used Inktense and Luminance and Prismacolor on. Um, so I did on that one, and then I've also got some stickles on that one as well. Next I've got Skimmins Timmin or Night Night Garden, I think it's the English one. This is a Swedish one anyway. Um, I've done a few in this one. This is the little dragonfly for one there. And then I like how I've done this bit. Not a massive fan of the background there, but I do like how I've done my flowers. Um, I think I used Prismacolor for that. With a watercolor background. So I may have done them more towards the end of the book. Yes. Oh, look, there's one here. And I used my gouache paint for the background with a bit of watercolor stuff over the top and color pencil and the stickles for the spider web. Um, and then I have done this one. I haven't really done much of a background. And I just sort of used um, purple, blue and pink colours for this one because they're the colours I use the most so that was quite fun doing that differently um, and then I've got this one which again, I think is a gouache background I wasn't really sure what to do for the background um, so yeah it's, it's okay um, I felt like I had done more in this one I must have done more in the other book Botanicum so I feel like I had done a bit more in that one but obviously not so next is Botanicum, this is again the Swedish edition, um, and I have done this where I used watercolour paints for that one, love how that came out, and then I used gouache paint for this one, I love how that came out as well, haven't done a background for that one though, um, I've used watercolour paint for this one as well, that came out quite nice, gouache for this one, you see a theme, watercolour, <laughs> gouache and stuff. Yeah, I used gouache for this one. I think I, that was the um, Arteza gouache that I used for that one. It's a very red squirrel, or red brown squirrel. And then I have finally actually did one with the black background. Um, and I think Marie Chan liked this one as well on Instagram um, and featured it on her Instagram. And I used polychromos pencils and I looked up like what the flowers looked like so I could try to make them look like you know what they should and then the other one I've done this one is a Halloween one which I did last year tried to make the ghosts look translucent um I think Prismacolor pencils I used we've got a bit of stickles on this pumpkin down the bottom and the ecology background now I'm not a massive fan of the neo ecology background it's okay though it's not terrible but I'm just not a massive fan and I think that's everything I've done in that one so quite a few in Botanicum it would seem. And I do have the new book, Flora, which again, I was able to get a picture done before I had to do this video. I got this in Sweden because the English edition was going to take far too long to come in the post. So I, when I was on holiday, I bought the Swedish version and did have to send back the English one because it did get sent to me whilst I was on holiday. But yeah, so I got the Swedish one. Um, and then I have just done the title page because I obviously quite like doing the title pages in her books apart from Groom Reese, which I haven't done. Um, I used, I think I used Polychromos for this one. I really like how I did the fur of the cat. I think that came out nice. So that's all I've done in that one. Right, next, Hannah Carlson and then we're almost, and then we'll be finished. <laughs> Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. So I have done a few in this one. So I have done this mushroom, which does have some glitter gel pen on it, which I think is pretty much faded off. Um, this title page, which has some stickles on it. I think I used Prismacolor pencils. And then I kind of used like white and gold on the bird because of the pattern was, ugh. This has got acrylic paint and this is using the um, Holbein pastel pencils, acrylic paint and luminance pencils for this one. Um, so I use Neo Color Chief for the background, don't like the background, crown is okay-ish I suppose, but this is one of my more earlier ones with some stickles and stuff on it. Don't know what pencils I use though. 
Um, and then acrylic paint for this one. And then I've got more of an autumnal thing, theme feel going on there. And stickles, of course, on that one. And that was quite fun to do. I think I used the... Um, uh, Rotaton pencils with maybe some Prisma on that one. So this was for Always Colour and she did a colour um, a color along and this was one of the pages that you could do. So I did this one, I used Neo Colour 2 and Ink Tents and Prisma Colour and Stickles. And then I have got this Unicorn which was pastel background, Prismacolor pencils, um, some fine tech paint. Although actually I could have used uh, luminance pencils. Actually, I may have used luminance pencils for that one. I can't really remember. Long time ago, uh, this one was in memory of always colouring. I did it how she did hers. I may have like made a few differences here and there on how I colour things in. But the mushrooms have got some stickles on. But yeah, this was in memory of her because it was really sad she passed away um and this is the mushroom page i did which i really love doing um that was really fun i really like doing the mushroom page and i like how they came out this is a jeweled bug and this is one that you're supposed to do in design but i just decided to use the colors for a background which i think i would have done differently now to make it look different and then obviously the beetle was just black and um, this i did all near color two slash watercolor for the background a little bit of color pencil here and there for like the shells and the starfish and things and then there's stickles, obviously, all in her hair. And some metallic paint. Um, so this one with the snail and his little house on his back. I used acrylic paint, Prismacolor pencils, stickles, gel pen. Um, this one I think I did this year. So I did do a colour pencil background, believe it or not. <laughs> I was brave. I used... Um, Polychromos pencils for this one. Mm -hmm. Possibly could have used some other ones as well, but I don't really know. And then there's stickles, obviously, all on there. And then I've got this one, hate the background. It's near colour two, does not go at all. Maybe, maybe I will uh, black acrylic it. Although I can't because of the bugs, legs and spider legs. Mm. Mm, no, I'll just have to leave it as it is. Um, it's just not very nice looking background, but I like the objects. So I think that's everything I've done in Daydreams. This is the one I've done the most in. And then I have Summer Nights. I finally finished a whip in here as well. So I've done the B on the front. Um, I've done the title page using Prisma colours and stickles. Don't like the white dot, yellow dots. Should have just left that, but I didn't. So it well. Ah, I've just inspired a picture. This was the first one I did with the Grasshopper using Polychromos and gel pen. This is, I think, a second one I did, which has got mice using colour pencil for the background and ink tents. Don't like the background, though. <laughs> and I've got this jeweled cockroach, I think, with gel pen and pencil and just a simple black background. Ah. Um, I did this one as a colour along with you guys. We used the Black Widow pencils and their Neo Colour 2 for the background. Um, don't like this part of the background, though, but the rest of it is fine. This is one... That I did with Prisma colour pencils and acrylic background and then this is to match that page and I finally did it this year so that is finally finished <laughs> didn't take me too long to do either so that was nice I felt like they would go nicely together um, oh I think there was one there wasn't there um, there's another jewel bug I really like this one and this is what I first ever used for stickles on as well and then I've got some gel pen I think and then acrylic paint with some super, uh, super colours to just do a dossy thing which I got from Dee Dee she did that sort of technique in one of her videos um oh I don't think there's any there just an idea for a page there and then I've done this bat which we used Posca paint for the background which didn't really come out very well um acrylic paint and uh stickles and prismacolor pencils for that one and that's everything for this one. Next one to Magical Dawn. Finally done a few more pictures in this one as well because this was one I hadn't really done many in. I did colour in the little frog this year. Finally got round to doing that because I felt like doing something little. 
title page. I think I used Prismacolor Polychromos for that. This was one I did for the HK5 project. Um, this jeweled scarab beetle. So I used Neocolor 2 for the background. Prismacolor pencil, fine tech paint. Um, Oh, I did this one with a colour along with a girl on YouTube, but I can't remember her name. Ren or Ashley, or maybe both, I'm not sure. Um, used luminance pencils and a little bit of Crayola to do this background bit here. Not massively keen on the background though. Um, then I did pastels for this, and I love this picture, and I love the colours I used. Prisma colour pencils, and I love the back. I just feel like it all goes together really well. So I do like that page. It's an older one, but I still like it. Um, this is an older one. First time doing a lady. I've used my luminance pencils in this one. I'm a fine organza tambi paint, I think, for that one. Then I have got this one where I did the background. I love how I did my shell. I used my luminance pencils and some Pablos. And I used Neo Colour 2 for the background and pencil for the this. And I tried to make it look like the shell was at the bottom of the ocean. So I do like how that came out. Um, and this is one I've started, just not finished. I may go over the background, I think, on that one. And I know I have got one more in here that I've missed. Where is it? There's definitely one more in here. Because it's... Ah, there we go, this one. Um, and then this is one of my favourite ones I've done in here with a glowy background type thing. So it's black acrylic paint and prismal colour pencils for that one. Next we go on to Seasons, which is one of my favourite books of hers. I quite like Seasons. Um, so, I've done the This Book Belongs To page, and, oh, there's one there, I've done This Lady, that was quite fun to do her, um, not sure what pencils I used, but it's got some fine tech paint in it, and this one I used Neo Colour 2 Prisma Colour Pencils, I think, and then some stickles and fine tech paint. That was quite a fun one. Did you do this one I did for the HK5 project as well? So I've got Prisma Colour Pencils, um, Fine Tech Paint, Normal Watercolour Paint, um, gel pen, some Koei Noir like the Koei Noir, what I'm mean about Spectrum Noir even, um, glitter pen stuff, I think. Um, I've got this autumn one that I did, which I also love, Neo Colour 2, Polychromos, I believe. Um, then I've got this one, which is Neo Colour 2, Prismacolor Stickles. Um, this which one, which I did last year, I think, for Halloween? Neo Colour 2, um, I can't remember what pencils I used. Maybe Prisma, maybe Luminance, not sure. And then I think the last one I've done in this one was a Christmas one, which again I think I did last year using the Colour 2 Prisma Colour, I believe. And that is all the seasons. And now we don't have much left because I don't have many pictures done in Jewelry Box. So <gasps> this is Jewelry Box. Um, there we go, title page, Neo Colour 2 Prisma Colour Pencils Stickles. Sorry guys, I'm trying to like make finish this because we've almost done. Um, this one I did with my Koei Noir skin colour pencils and fine tech paint. Um, just wanted to do different skin tones in that one. This one I did for the HK5 project as well because I hadn't done many in here. I used luminance pencils and I used a green neo colour too and then I went over the top with a fine tech paint to sort of make it kind of shimmery um so I went for a bronze gold and sort of coppery type color for that one and I think that's everything I've done in the jewelry box and then the last one which unfortunately breaking the them all being in English editions I got a Swedish one because again the English edition was going to take like a month to come in the post don't know why Amazon were doing that 
no idea why, even though I pre-ordered it, they were like, it's going to come a month later. Didn't want to wait a month. So I got this when I was in Sweden in a bookstore. So I've got Sjöls, Sjöls Fronda, or Sjöls, Sjöls Fronda. Right, I can, obviously cannot pronounce Swedish, so that was my best effort. If you're Swedish, please let me know. Was I kind of almost there, or was I really far off the mark? <laughs> Spirit Animals in English. And I have only, so far, just done the title page, because I like to do the title pages. And I use Neocolor Colour 2 for the background, put a bit of metallic paint on it. Decided to do dark skin tones for my ladies. I think I use Prismacolor pencils for these ones, and then I've got a bit of fine tech paint as well. Um, it does get a bit lost in the blue, but oh well, I wasn't really sure what colours to do for the background. But um, yeah, that's all I have done in that one. And that is everything I have ever coloured. We made it to the end. This last part is going to take a very long time to upload, but oh well. So thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I will be back next year, of course, with uh, everything I've ever finished. 2020 video so I will have done a lot more so I will have to try and go a bit quicker through them through through my pictures because obviously the more I do the longer them it will, they will take to do so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions feel free to ask um I am I do apologize as I said in the other videos I cannot label and list every single coloring medium or pencils that I used in all the books because it's been a very long time since I did some of those pictures um, so that's why I just tell you if I can remember going through which pencils I used um, that's the best I can do kind of sort of thing <laughs> for you I'm afraid um, but yes I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you soon so have a lovely day everybody bye